So I love metal containers. There's something about these things. I don't know what it is, but I just have to collect them. Whenever I find them in any sort of antique mall or salvage place, I have to pick them up. And I think it has to do with how efficient they are because you could fit a lot of things in a small area because they're made of sheet metal and sheet metal is super thin. So I found this cabinet at a local architectural salvage place. It was $20. I may have overpaid for it because it's in bad shape, but I just immediately was like, I know where this belongs and what I can do with it. So I'm gonna use it for organizing all my nails and screws and things that don't fit into these cabinets because I don't use them on a regular basis. I'm really excited about this project, so stick around and I'll show you what I come up with. So I've got most of these cleaned. Some of the drawers look brand new after they just get a little bit of Windex on them. And then others are pretty pitted. So I'm gonna have to at least put a rust stopping primer on these. And I don't really wanna paint the insides of the drawers, but some of them I, I might have to. I've installed all the drawers because I, it's gonna be way easier for me to paint this uh, and not have to mask anything. Basically the drawers mask it for me, which is awesome. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with some primer beforehand. This stuff is made for metal. It's made for metal with a little bit of paint on it, with a little bit of rust on it. Um, so this should be perfect. And then I'll hit it with a coat of Toolbox Red. Thing I'm noticing you can see the stripes from the primer coat so I think I'm gonna put another coat of primer on these sides make sure that any of the streaking is gone yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do for the case to dry, I'm gonna start cutting the plywood for the outer casing.
This is the base, which is cut out of three quarter inch plywood along with the two sides over here. This is the back, which is half inch plywood. And there's a whole bunch of shelves also cut out of half inch plywood. I'm gonna now round over some of these corners so that it looks a little bit nicer and so there aren't any sharp edges. So the cabinet is basically done. The only thing left to do is install the shelves. The shelves will go on this side. They'll take nails and glue. Before I do that, I want to lay out where my nails are gonna go. So I have the spacer block that I'm gonna use to space out all the individual shelves. I'm gonna place that on, in, on the inside, trace a line, place the shelf on the inside, trace another line, take another spacer block. This one's at three and a half inches. And then that'll give me the nail locations when I go to install the shelves on the other side.
I am super happy with how that came out, and I hope I've encouraged some of you out there to give this a try. It's really not that hard. I spent just the better part of an afternoon getting this thing all done, and it was no problem. It's a really easy process, and it has great results. You know, for a really cheap piece of furniture, you can, you can make it look really nice. So if you do end up tackling a project like this, please send it to me on Instagram. I would love to see it. I'll repost about it in my stories. And if you got any questions about the project, please ask them in the comments down below. I'm good about answering those. Also, if you want to learn how to build this outfeed table, I've got full build video on that as well. And um, plans are coming out on my website really soon. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.